Hello everyone, PS from PS Invest Plays here today. We're gonna in this video today, we're gonna do a face-off between one financial bank and a technology company, which is Citigroup and Microsoft. In this video, I'm gonna share with you technical analysis on both these talks, reasons to consider buying both of these talks provide my short and long-term price prediction and finally provide a verdict of which one is a better buy short and long term so with that said let's get started if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe Hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. The first one that we are going to look today is a financial bank, Citigroup. Tick a symbol C, let us see. The macro landscape for, for the markets is looking pretty good. 2021 is a year of reopening and higher inflation. There will be instability in the markets due to uncertainty. Is the inflation going to go up? Is it going to trend as per the Fed's advice, which is where the inflation is going to be transitory? Or it's going to spike over 5% and stay there for a longer time? This all is going to cause a lot of uncertainty. In 2022, I expect Fed to reduce bond purchases. Again, there will be higher inflation and I expect Fed to increase interest rates to curb inflation. But if we look at the history, markets tend to perform well in uncertainties. 2020 was a classic example. But if I put into context what is going on now and compare that to previous years, most recently 2013 and 2014 and 2017 and 2018 come into my mind where inflation was going higher fed was reducing its bond purchases that they started in 2008 and were thinking of slowly increasing the interest rates what did i see in that environment markets did extremely well with that said, now what does this translate into micro landscape for Citigroup? Consumer spending is benefiting all the financial companies, aka banks. Citigroup especially has beaten EPS estimates in the last three quarters. And I expect that Citigroup should continue to do so in the subsequent quarters. Citigroup is considered a value play in 2021 and in 2022 due to increase of interest rates it should add to profits increased profits for Citigroup also Citigroup is a good dividend payer now let's jump into technical analysis and see where do we stand in the momentum and is it going to end or is it just the start if you look at at, the, at a macro level chart for Citigroup, the bull run that started in 2009, 2009 is continuing and we are in the final leg of this bull run. Now, if I dive down into a weekly chart, what I see that Citigroup is in the middle of its third and the most strong bull wave. In this bull wave, I expect the price for Citigroup to jump to $90, then retrace back to around $75, and finally march up towards $127, which means a 64% upside left if you invest in it today and stay invested for the next two to three years. With that said, now let's look at a technology company, which is Microsoft. From a macro landscape perspective, 
it is very it is identical what we just spoke about but there is a small caveat 2020 was the best year for technology companies we cannot argue with that rotation into broader markets especially in value stocks is a theme of 2021 and based on what i have seen in in the past in 2013 2014 and also 2017 and 2018 technology lags behind dow and s p 500 what does this mean for microsoft stock microsoft sits at a crossroads of growth and value play it doesn't grow as a hyper growth company but it consistently delivers around 13 to 15 percent growth every year all its cloud enterprise application hardware businesses are gaining market share from competitors for example in the cloud business it is gaining market share from AWS and Google for cloud. For cloud, what I have seen is that AWS is the preferred choice, then companies go with Microsoft, and then the final choice is Google. Now, for the first two slots, it's always, it's always a very uh, good competition. And many a times that what I've seen is Microsoft ends up winning that competition, which is a very good reason for Microsoft. Again, Microsoft is a good dividend payer and has been consistently beating on EPS estimates due to blowout revenue and earnings. Now let's jump into the technical analysis for Microsoft stock. The bull run for Microsoft that started in 2009, I see that Microsoft is in the third wave. I'm sorry for the labeling here. We are in the third wave and not in the fifth wave. This, fifth, this third wave is still not over, which tells me that we have substantial more room to grow. Now, if I dive down into this third wave and see where, where are we headed on a, on a, a, and take a closer look, I expect this third wave to end around $299 for uh, Microsoft. Then the price should retrace down to $197 and finally march towards $471 to mark the end of its bull run that started in 2009, which leaves us with approximately 89% upside in the next three to five years. I give it a big thumbs up. Now let's look at which stock, which out of these two should you invest in? In the short term, I would say go with Citigroup. There is still 61%, 64% upside potential in the next two to three years. For Microsoft, we can expect 89% upside potential, but in the next three to five years. For Microsoft, there should also be a strong pullback which should bring its price down below 200. So as a strategic investment, I would, I would advise you to buy city stock on any weakness and hold until the price target that we just spoke about, which is approximately $127. And buy Microsoft stock below $205 for maximum gain. If you, if you are able to buy below $205, the 89% upside potential that I just spoke about, you could increase it by more than 100%. So that's what I think of these two stocks. What do you think? Do you think, do you agree with me? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and let me know which one would you pick out of these two. And please provide a reason why. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with your friends and family. With that said, see ya!